Here's an easy DIY for railing that won't break the bank. So today we're making some railing for our church balcony. We're making an eight foot section and we thought we would show you how we're doing it because this is definitely railing the inexpensive way. We're gonna have about $60 in our eight foot section. It's about 36 inches high. We'll show you the materials that we use, show you how we put it together, show you how it looks after. So for our eight foot section of railing, we're using all yellow pine because it's the least expensive thing we can get and it's pretty durable. So we're using a one by four, eight foot one by four for the rail on top. We are using a eight foot two by four for the rail on the bottom. And then we've cut these to 33 and three quarters inches. So that it totals up to 36. And then we are using these one by two strips that you can get for like a couple dollars a piece. And we're gonna try putting those across here uh, just for lower railing. So I'm gonna give those a shot, put them all together, see how it looks. Voila, there's our rail put together. Really simple to do. Let me show you what we've done here. This is our bottom right here. So we've actually put most of our screws in right there. We've put a few up the side to join it into that one. And the same thing we've went on the bottom here and the bottom over there as well. And then, uh, of course, some screws through the top. But what we used on this was brad nails because these strips are kind of fragile um, as far as screwing stuff in and you'll start cracking unless you drill holes. We don't really want to uh, drill holes in everything. So we pulled out the brad nailer. We're using one and a quarter inch brad nails. We're using two and a half inch screws. So that's pretty much the list of things. Now we're gonna go put this in place and see what it looks like. So here we are up in the church balcony. Our rail is up and our guys are testing it for safety and it is obviously working. So that's a good sign. Excuse our mess here because we're redoing our balcony. But this is one of the things that we're doing is putting up a rail and you can see the piece that we had that we made, but we did sand it before we brought it up here. But after that, we anchored it down with some two and a half inch screws. And then because it still felt a little shaky, we came back and added these two by fours on down. So if you're putting it on a staircase or overlooking a living room or something like that in your house, obviously you're gonna to have to use your own judgment on that, but we wanted to make sure that it was very, very safe. So we're happy with it. I said $60 is what we had in it. It's really more along the lines of $50. We use less lumber than what I thought. So it's about $50 in an eight foot section. So you can use your imagination. That's six, $7 a foot. Right now, lumber is very expensive, but I still think that's not too bad of a deal, uh, depending on your situation. So you can adapt this to whatever measurement you want. Now let me show you the rest of it. Well, like I said, we are redoing the upstairs here, the balcony area of our church, as you can see, and we've added this for safety purposes, but we didn't want to break the bank. So you can see our railing all the way around. We have about close to 100 feet, including all of the stairs and everything. So our railing added up to about $500. Lumber is expensive right now, but considering it's almost 100 feet of railing for about $500, I think that's a pretty good deal. This was a pretty simple project uh, in the whole scheme of things, but uh, we really like it and it's sturdy and it'll be here for a long time. Thank you guys for watching.